real excited, uh, honored to be part of the Vernon community and the high school and, and the ascending districts. Um, you know, it's something that I've, I've been dreaming about for quite some time. You know, that, that next step, uh, I've been coaching at Vernon for 21 years and teaching health and phys ed. And uh, it was just that next stepping stone for me uh, to move my career forward. And how important is it to you that it's your alma mater? I know you transferred in later when you were in high school, but you know you played for Bill Edelman in basketball, you played for John Ryan in soccer, you're part of the fabric of the community. How great is it that you're able to come and be the AD at your alma mater? Yeah, nothing better than staying home. And that's what I've always wanted to do. You know, there was there was some other possibilities that, that came up or the opportunity maybe to apply elsewhere, but you know, I, I didn't want to go elsewhere. I wanted to stay home at Vernon. You know, again, this is where I, I finished high school in 1987, and I've been teaching here for uh, 21 years now and coaching and, and have uh, been coached by a lot of great people through the ranks uh, back from the late 80s and some of those people still here, and just uh, great, great to be part of the family. Yeah, talk about that. Vernon's, the high school's 41 years old. You're only going to be the third AD. Gary Sparta got the ball rolling. Bill Edelman with a long tenure. Just your thoughts on that. Yeah, uh, big shoes to fill, I can tell you that much. Um, you know, starting with Gary, who, uh, you know, Mr. Sparta, who was my AD when I was in high school. And then Bill, you know, my high school basketball coach, uh, becomes AD a short time after. So two great people. They've done a great job here at Vernon. A lot of expectations. Uh, you know, have done, done some tremendous things, and, uh, you know, I'm going to work uh, my best uh, to follow in their footsteps. How important is it that you're not far removed from coaching at all? You coached last year, been coaching for 21 years. How's it going to help you in that transition that, you know what, you might be on the other side of the desk, but you were in those shoes not too long ago? Yeah, it, it's something, again, like for doing it for so long, uh, you know, I, I'm familiar with, with the head coaching positions and the assistant positions. I've worked for a, a tremendous amount of people here. Uh, but now I have to oversee all the athletic programs, and that's something I'm going to have to make sure I, you know, give every, every sports program equal time. And, you know, I started here Monday as the assistant to Bill because he still has some time left, and I, you know, I try to get out to every program first thing Monday morning. But, of course, you know, something comes up, and, you know, that plan's erased right away. But, you know, you move on, and, and you, uh, you know, you keep a list of things, and, uh, you know, you're, you're held accountable, and you do the best job you can. One of the challenges facing all the ADs up here in this county is declining enrollment. Vernon, last week I just saw officially a Group 2 general, general classification, and in all sports except for football, a Group 3. How do you, how do you approach those challenges? Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's not easy. Um, but, you know, the, the biggest thing for us is to, to get back to our community ties, reach back down into the community. Uh, you know, I, I need to be the face of Vernon Athletics and the district, and my coaches need to be the face as well. So we need to get back to old school uh, politics and, and get back down there and, and talk to the younger kids, talk to the coaches, and, and get everybody involved and everybody on the same page. And also, as you come in, that first basketball season, well, it's going to start in the fall, Vernon no longer in the American division of the NJAC where they played uh, Pope John and Sparta Manov, playing some of the old SCIL teams in Lenape and uh, – uh, who else, uh, High Point and teams like that. How important is that, you know, get those local ties again? Yeah, it, it's nice, and it, it's fun to get back to those local ties. Uh, we haven't been there in a while because, again, when we were, you know, uh, thrust into the NJAC, we were one of the bigger schools from up here, so we saw the bigger schools in Morris County, and we lost some of those uh, relationships with the uh, old SEIL. But, you know, on a personal level, I always try to, you know, keep those schools on our list for whether it was soccer, basketball, golf, anything. You know, I try to keep those schools close. And, uh, and that's something that, you know, we can look forward to again. And even our crossovers are with some of the other local SEIL schools, too. So that's something that I think everybody on the coaching staffs are, are eager to see. And I guess with your position, you guys will be looking for a new girls basketball coach? Uh, yes, uh, numerous coaches. Um, we have some openings and, you know, we're starting to look at some resumes and, and starting to talk to some people. But, you know, just like I said before, I just started Monday. So just getting my feet wet and, you know, the uh, beginnings of, uh, you know, bringing in all the uh, fall sports programs. Uh, I think next week, myself, Mr. Edelman, you know, are going to start looking at, at some of those uh, applicants uh, for down the road. Um, plus, we have some health and phys ed openings that, you know, we'd like to obviously bring in, you know, people and, and individuals with some coaching backgrounds. So that's something we're going to be looking at, you know, pretty strongly within the next couple of weeks. And you touched upon it before. Bill Edelman's done so much as an athletic director, not just here, but statewide. He's been named AD of the Year. So it's going to be nice to have someone to lean on during the transition. 
Yeah, Bill. Bill's recognized at the state level. He's he's done a lot. Uh, you know, uh, obviously the public, non-public stuff. He's been a big part of, and, and a lot of people have thanked him for that. But uh, he's, you know, I just went to an AD's workshop uh, on Wednesday, and uh, the many ADs, you know, always referred to Bill about certain things. So, just not up in Sussex County, Morris County, uh, do people look up to him? But it's it's at a state level. So. You know, it, it's very easy for me to just, you know, have him here right now for the first few months just to kind of lean on and, uh, and help me with the process. Bill, not only are you from Vernon, uh, you know, alma mater here, but you played basketball for a couple of years at Sussex County Community College. John Kuntz, a nationally recognized junior college AD, you played basketball for him. What kind of influence was he? Yeah, John, John was a tremendous influence, you know, coming out of high school, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Um, and he was a you know a coach at Pope John previously, and uh, and him and Bill were close. And you know it's it's not so coincidental that they both turned into outstanding ads. Bill at the high school level and John at the college level. And here I am, you know, following in their footsteps. So they were both uh, tremendous role models. And and John was very uh, influential in, in me, you know, continuing uh, college and and uh, playing basketball at Sussex and and moving on to a four-year college. And, you know, just a great guy. He's been great for Sussex County um, Athletics and, you know, another great role model that I would uh, love to follow in the footsteps of.